Alright, this video guys is going to be of two formations, and that is the trio offset and trips tight end. Now I'm going to break down both of them both of them at the same time because they complement each other rather well. So to start off, we have the gun trio offset. The plays are going to be inside zone, obviously, verticals, eagles level sail, and PA post shot. So Verticals actually has um, a pretty unique play, uh, and the reason I like it is because we can drag our tight end, and we're going to get the four verts concept from last year. We got a drag and an in route following it. So it's going to be rather difficult to play both of them. It also gives you the ability to simply block a tight end and still have dominant routes on the field. When I do block the tight end, I tend to motion slant X, or in this case, uh, what is that, square, um, and pretty much make my opponent choose. Do they guard the slant? Do they guard the crossing route by the slot guy? Or do they guard the um, running back? So... That is essentially the play verticals. Obviously, you run at stock. You're going to bomb cover three. Um, if they're in man-to-man, -man, you'll see that sometimes that route gets open as well. Um, since we're getting a receiver there, depending on what receiver we have, it'll be more separation. So something to play around with your roster. In this case, I have Jerron Brown. Once again, not special. Um, the only other thing I do with this is I will... Put square on a comeback, and I'll motion him to the right, hike as soon as he cuts up field. Um, typically, you just catch it running in stride. This is a thing that I love to do. Um, it's because it really forces my opponent to get those safeties and put them into zones. So once again, we're going to come out in verticals, or we're going to audible the verticals. And... You could do whatever you want. You could slant the tight end, block the running back. You could run it normal. You could streak or fade the uh, tight end and then do the comeback from left to right. So then now you're, you know, just you're you're essentially messing with your opponent. Um, now he keeps dropping it for whatever reason, but I mean you see the separations there. The one thing that you don't want to do when running this play is you don't want to slant the tight end and have the running back route. They run to the same exact spot, as you'll see here. They essentially are just not, they're not good. You can manually guard both of those at one at one time. So that is essentially verticals. Um, once again, predominantly used to bomb cover three. Uh, chuck it, you, you throw underneath to... Uh, the, either the running back, the slant, any sort of a drag. So, like, you could do this right here. I mean, pretty much the nation's concept. You know, if they're in any sort, uh, like any sort of a zone, you should be able to just chuck it to the drag route. And then don't forget about motioning the comeback to pot man. And... You could actually, you know, mix it up. So you could put Fitz, slot guy, in a comeback, motion him, and he's going to cut up field. He'll still get the same separation. So that is verticals. Uh, moving along, we've got Eagles level sail. Now, since the main play is used to kind of kill man coverage we wanted to give a play that we're going to be flooding zone with so in this case we're fading the outside left guy motion him to the right now we have the ability to bomb yet we also have a good corner route so we're making our opponent pick and choose what they do with that safety if that safety is in a flat or a purple we're going to bomb him if he's back deep we'll have the corner 
So once again, and once once again, you can motion the slot guy if you want. Doesn't have to be Floyd. I mean, you'll see that it all works the same. Um, don't sleep on those in routes either, because the in routes get open versus man as well as zone. I'm gonna try to show it to you real quick. Also, when doing this, you'll notice that the running back um, on his what do you call it on his flat route should always be open unless he runs into uh, alignment of some sort. And then finally, PA post shot. So PA post shot is another play that does really good at beating man. You can simply slant or drag the tight end. And then you see that the crossing routes do a great job of getting separation. Now these are going to also do well in flooding zone. So if your opponent is just hell bent on, you know, being in man, you could really pop them with this. You just motion this dude across. As soon as he sets, I actually messed it up. Um, try it again. You want to hike it before he sets. I think I just said to hike it when he sets. So we're going to block the running back. He'll most get to the outside. And um, I just got picked off. I guess Fitz doesn't have the acceleration to do it. But something to mess with. I mean, it does get open. I mean, even if you just leave it there, it gets open. Um, you can also put this guy on another comeback. So now you're just creating even more of a, you know, man killer. I mean, look at the separation that Fitz just had. Um, I don't know. Play pop zone as well. It is one of my favorite man beaters. Uh, and that's just kind of gets me right into the next formation. You got PA shot post. PA shot post is such a pain in the ass to deal with. Um, just stock because you got two routes that are just going to flood man coverage. And if they are not, like for instance, say they're manually playing that, you could be annoying so to speak, and put this guy, this uh, slot receiver on a comeback. Motion him to the right, and now you're flooding the guy to the right as well as deep um, to the middle. So, probably my favorite man beater in the entire form, or in the entire book, the entire scheme. Um, unfortunately, it's everybody's favorite play, it seems. If you don't want to do the comeback, you could do a fade. Well, it would help if you motioned them. I just quick hiked myself again. But we'll go ahead. I mean, you could do this concept where you're trying to bomb them deep with the motion fade. Um, I, I love motioning my receivers. Uh, it's, it just puts so much pressure on your opponent to figure out what you're doing. Now, say they're in man coverage and, you know, they're playing our motions. They're following all of our motions. Well, if they're doing that, we can hit them the motion corner route, which by now you know we love. That's the play tight end corner. You can also, on the play tight end corner, smart route the hitch so we can throw that. We can motion this guy across, put him on a fade or a comeback. doesn't really matter which one we do. Yeah, he popped that. Um, that's fluke. <laughs> smart routed hitches beat man coverage 99% of the time. He 
is not having any of it. Don't know what the issue is. Smart router hitches work. The computer may not actually be pressed, which could be throwing it off. Curious. No, they're pressing. I don't know. Um, anyways, the post gets open. If you want to motion the... You want to do something like this. Um, this is another motion that I use. And it's just to create a flood going to the right. So, pretty much... You see the separation there, you got the, I'll go to the instant replay. You see the drag route, obviously, and then as he breaks, you'll see he'll just completely leave his guy um, to the inside on the post. Decent throw, could be a huge gain. Go ahead, we'll try it again. I mean, once again, wasn't the greatest throw, but you saw that he had the separation and he got open. Um, so, let's see, what other plays do we have? Uh, verticals. This might be the best verticals in the game. And that is because of the fact that we can utilize the curl concept while also having the corner route. So you'll see, corner route, we have a receiver there, guys. So, with a receiver going up against a corner, we have a fair shot. Tight ends versus a corner, not so much. Um, so that is why we actually use two different verticals out of a similar look. And that's because in the offset, we can't actually utilize the curl concept. Um, but in trips tight end regular, we can. So let's see, we have that. If Sue would get the hell out of my game room. Try it again. Now, we can motion this slot guy to the left. So say we wanted to do the motion comeback concept here. Oh, well, we can. I mean, it's <laughs> it, it, we will not allow our opponent to be in man coverage. I mean, you see all the plays that we have. Uh, but it's pretty, pretty dominant. Uh, the only thing I'm kind of confused by right now is why this hitch isn't working but it does work in game I know it does I just don't understand why it's struggling right now um, another thing look at that corner out by the tight end right there that was back to tight end corner and I'm not really going in order with this breakdown I'm just kinda showing you all the little motions that you can use look at that that fucking guy plays that hitch perfect no fucking reason. Anyways, drag. You have the post that's going to get open, as you see here. You just got the corner out, wide open as well. And then, oh yeah, the uh, running back, if we wanted to throw to him right away, we could have done that as well. So, pretty much man-to-man -man is simply dead. There's no way to run man-to-man -man consistently. Um, and that's really just with the gun trips tight end formation. The reason we like the trio offset is for three reasons. We like the PA post shot play as having just crazy man beaters because um, of the crossing routes. We have a good corner route in Eagles level sail that we can kind of create that levels concept or the Z spot concept. Um, and then that verticals play where the running back is going to the left um, we can create the two-way play they have to play the tight end and they also have to play the running back which obviously it's going to be very difficult to play both so that is essentially the trio formation um, and the trips tight end so I hope you guys liked it um, this is something that I highly recommend uh, mixing in for 
good reason because you will f absolutely torch man coverage. Um, as you see here, I'm just going to look at the separation on that corner route. It can't be pressed. Um, if they're in a cover two, that will still get open. It's just a very good corner route. And then my favorite verticals in the game. And then obviously PA shot post. You got decent play right here with the uh, Eagles. I forget what that was called. Eagles. Let's see. Level sale. But you got a solid verticals. PA shot post is also very good. If there was one formation out of this whole thing that I would recommend taking out that you don't have to have, it would be this one. But, like I said, we do like it. It's a good thing to have. just gives us another look. Um, but that's it. Next one up is Gun Trips Y-Flex.